Hey, hey there, it's Krista back from Activate Her Awesome. And today I am here with a Canva tutorial that is going to show you how to easily create columns inside of your Canva documents. So just over three years ago, I actually created a different video showing you how to create columns at that time. And really the only way to do that was to add in text boxes. And that was a lot of manipulating on your part to make sure that each of the columns were even and it all added up. This tutorial is going to show you a quick little hack using tables and columns already set up to make it look good. So what do you need to do? Well, first I recommend putting whatever content that you want in your columns just inside of a blank Google document. Of course you could use Word or Pages depending. I just thought it was gonna be easier to show you exactly how to do this with a tool that pretty much everybody has access to. So what we are going to do first is we are going to select all the text and we are going to make it the size that we want to output it in Canva. I like to output it at 14 pixels and I like it to be Proxima Nova. So I'm going to set my font here. That is the same as the font that I'm going to be using in Canva. That's key. So make sure whatever font you're using in Canva, you want to make sure that you can access it in your Google Doc or it's not going to work. All right. So font has been set. The size has been set. I am going to change the alignment to left in this case, or I could leave it set to justify and fill, and that's gonna look a little bit more professional. So then the only other thing I have to do is come into format and come into line and paragraph spacing, and I want it to set it to 1.5, and then I'm gonna come back into format one more time and go columns two. All right, now the document is set up, now we have to go over to Canva. We're gonna go over to Canva, create a new design. We're just gonna put in letter. We're looking for US letter size. It's going to come up, perfect. Then I'm gonna bring up what's called the slash commands. I'll make sure I put the key on the screen here so you can see what it is. It is the one that is below the question mark beside the shift key on the right-hand side of your keyboard. When you hit the slash command, it's going to come up with this extra menu. You're gonna start writing in table. When table comes up, you're going to click it. You want to create a single row, two column table. It's gonna look like this. This is exactly it. What we're gonna do here is now set those same rules that we set in place at our Google Doc. So 14 pixels for the height. I'm looking for Proxima Nova and I want regular. I want to set the alignment to uh, the justification. And then I want to set that spacing to 1.5. And the only other thing I want to do is do a vertical alignment top. Okay. And that's it. That's all I have to do. I'm going to come back to my document and I'm going to take this first column, copy, come back here and paste. Now, it doesn't look good right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna bring it up to the top of the page and I'm just gonna make it go over to the little, there it is there. You can see it kind of like locked in with the pink border. Now you might not wanna take it quite this big. You might wanna make it a little bit smaller. Um, we're gonna fix the other side, in a, other side in a second. It's all going to line up, don't worry. So let's go over and let's grab the second column here copy this, come back, put it in. Now if we click these three dots to the left, this is other show more menu, then we can hit size columns equally. And then we can also hit size row to content. There. Okay, so this is looking a lot better, uh, but it's still not quite 100% right. So what we're going to do is we're gonna come we're gonna select both. So to select both columns, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click on this column and then I'm gonna hold down the shift key and also select this column. Now I'm gonna come up here and change the spacing. So I'm actually going to take this table spacing all the way over to 20. So I want both at 20 and that's gonna create a little bit more spacing between the columns. And then the only other thing that I need to do is actually get rid of these ugly black borders. So to do that, I'm gonna click on these border settings in the table, I'm gonna click on the border style, and I'm gonna take the border weight down to nothing. And there you go, we now have a two column gorgeous document ready to go. So to do the other pages, what are you gonna do? You're going to hit this little duplicate page button, you're gonna come back, you're gonna select your next column of text, you're gonna come over here, 
I'm gonna select everything and then paste. We're gonna come back. We're gonna do the same thing with the next one. Copy and select paste. Just like that, it's effortless. Effortless. I cannot believe how easy this is. So much better than my old tutorial. I hope it's gonna save you a bunch of time. I'm crazy excited about it. Hope you're having an amazing day. And listen, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to give you an actual template. So if you wanna just add this to your own Canva library, I'm actually gonna put the template link below the video on YouTube as well as on my website so that you can download it for free, not asking for your name and email. I just wanna give it out to you because I can't believe how easy this made things. Make sure you subscribe and follow for more Canva tips. Cheers.